Dream Builders is a student service organization that is looking for new volunteer projects. A future film producer takes the group to a nearby state park to film them cleaning and repairing the trails. This is our experience. All right, so basically, this is the test. It's a test. I'm um, just trying to see how it looks and how everything is and how everything sounds. Did it start already? Yes, it started. Oh. I can actually oh. talk right now. Oh. oh, hey. I'm gonna see over here what we need. Um, hello. Uh, my name's Stephen Hawkins. Hey guys. My name's Elliot. Woo! Okay, go. Go. What am I doing? Hey. You're going. We're camping. <laughs> Hey, go away so y'all don't hear what we're saying. Because I didn't hear what y'all said. So far on our uh, camping trip out here to Tyler State Park. <laughs> um, <laughs> the light's kind of getting in the way. Um, you know, it's been pretty fun. It's, it's weird because I've never been camping before. Is it? Is it looking at me? Because I, I feel like it's down. <laughs> is it looking at me? <laughs> Hey Steven, there's yeah. a middle finger pointing up at you right now. I can see. Yeah, you're good. Kind of liking this camping stuff. I'm more of a city girl. I don't know, it's kind of cool. You got your bear costume? Well, Do you know like what I'm talking about? Like yes! Okay, I didn't know if you... Okay, I didn't know if you... No, can. it's just a hat. It's just a head, though. I don't think it's like a whole... No, the head's shape. I have... I gotta say, I'm really enjoying my position within the group as the guy who has everything in his truck. Are you talking about... Why didn't you just borrow Okay with me. It's a blue one. And it's a uh, nah, fun to get to hang out with Dream Builders people, some of whom I've known before. Uh, some like Devontae, who I haven't met before. Who's really cool. And Devonte, I want you to remember this while you're editing everything. So just, you know, cut everything to make me look good. I feel like this thing's hitting me. Stop. Can we just keep around? Do we have to talk? Um, well, what's the point of it? Say what, you, say what you're going to say. I don't have anything to say. My first thought when I woke up today was that this trip was going to be an absolute disaster. Um, had a few difficulties with the tent. So, if it like falls over the middle of the night, it's not my fault. Okay? Like. Okay, there's the front. Which direction do we want to face that? Face that towards here, because I want to walk out, undo my pants, and do this. It's a nature. It looks like a circus tent. You look like a circus tent. <laughs> but hey, how come we don't give homeless people tents. just tents? <laughs> There's Tent City in uh, Tennessee. I'll make a man. Uh, yeah, I don't you. Honestly, like we had about six people over there trying to figure it out. I mean, honestly, we were about to call the parks people, but they probably just laugh at us. So we're probably not going to do that. Anyway. We've been having fun. Um, there's been, you know, some mishaps with the fire. We we couldn't cook our food correctly. We couldn't turn it on at all. Like we did, and then it went out, and then it came back on, and then went out again. Just the fire just would not work with me. Like I, I had it, it looked good at first. We just didn't have enough kindling, and so it just kind of looked bad. Someone brought like you know, you know those uh, like stoves. They can carry. Thank goodness we brought a Coleman grill. We were able to get our food done. It was really kind of crispy and hard. We didn't have any canola oil or anything. We had to use pan. So we have that and then we cooked dinner there, which is pretty good. Potatoes, chicken. Check that out. The corn. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> well, yet putting in work. Do you need a plate or something, Elliot? What? With the chicken when it's done. Pretty random stuff, but it was it was really good. Well, I don't know if it was good or if we were just really hungry. And uh, so far, it's been pretty fun. You know, I just kind of hope this isn't one of those situations where there's like axe murderer or something like in the background because, you know, that would really put a damper on the fun. And I mean, everybody already knows that the black guy goes first. I'm glad these are the people here. I'm glad you're here, Devontae. That's off to you for getting this done. Like, we have good people here. 
It's only eight of us, but we're having fun. It's funny, like people outside, like you can hear them, the people outside, and they're like talking, and it's kind of cool. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. <laughs> Gonna be on the trail like all day. I actually am. Really? Hey, the guy, the guy said it's not gonna be intense. Okay. You know, tomorrow should be pretty fun. You know, waking up at 7:30 in the morning. He, he I'm ready. I want a tan. Back. I want to get a tan. While I'm doing it. Okay. Someone has priority problems. It's not priority. It's like multitasking. I'm volunteering as well. As I plan on I plan on going shirtless the whole night. You know what I'm saying? Uh, That's gonna be cut. Devontae's gonna put that. <laughs> But, I mean, we're going to be picking up trails, and we're pretty glad to be here to do some service for uh, Tyler State Park. Service is where it's at. I mean, at the heart of it, we're helping out Tyler State Park. And honestly, <laughs> they're helping us out, because we're going to come together. After this weekend, all of us are going to be a lot closer. We're going to have a lot of fun, actually. So. Hopefully, I'll let you know what happens tomorrow. Tell being out in nature and I'm really looking forward to being on the trails tomorrow and I'm sure I'll on tomorrow's confessional I will go the complete opposite direction and say I hated the whole thing but I guess we'll find out then dream builders we're the up-and-coming org you need to get on it get with us we're where to be we have fun we're having fun as you can tell by this we're where it's at for those who are watching this video, if you know what I'm talking about, all I have to say is one word, and that's Pop Tarts. Alright. Steven! Yeah? Wave. That's not a wave. They're in the back corner, back right corner. Oh, that's a nice shot. Why are you filming? Okay, cool. Jump. <laughs> Dante, how are you this morning? Dude, medic. How you guys night go? Dude. Uh, scary. Scary. <laughs> There's animals. Oh yeah, I scared something white earlier. <laughs> what? When I was walking. I just heard that. Other people had visitors. I didn't hear. I heard stuff. Last night, it was kind of funny. Because apparently, uh, Devante, who's our camera guy, and uh, his friend were over here in this tent. Devante heard something and saw a shadow of an animal. Raccoons aren't like they are on campus. Uh, at SFA, like, uh, which is where we're from, um, the raccoons kind of like, you know, they, you know, they coexist with the people there. You know, they're a little mean, you know, sometimes they'll stalk you a little bit. Um, I was just minding my own business and all of a sudden I woke up just a little bit and I saw a tail hit the tent and so I didn't tell Jillian at first. What did you do? Like the raccoon was like sniffing around and like you know making all these noises but they didn't know like why it was there and why it was like stalking them. I kind of just left it alone and she's like what was that and I was just like it was nothing go to sleep. <laughs> he covered the rain like zipped the rain fly up and then he told me and I freaked out because I was scared and I had to pee. And uh, and that basically ruined our night because she got freaked out every time she heard something. Granted, there were things out there. But I told her, just relax. We don't mess with it. It's not going to mess with us. But the ones in the wild here, these things are nuts. These things will literally chase you. They will literally chase you. They growl at you and all kinds of stuff. Like, what's going on here? I had to pee really bad, but I didn't want to go out of the tent because I was scared that the raccoon was gonna like get me or something. 
And so I was just like, relax, we're in a tent. Yeah. He has, he has to work to get to it. <laughs> so then we went to the bathroom together. Cause I was scared. Um, so I go to the bathroom. Uh, she was like just clenching my arm. Like my hand was just like really hurting after, you know, taking her to the bathroom. And then we came back and trying to go to sleep in the tent. And we went to, we fell asleep, but then I heard something making noises like near the table, like it was looking for food or something. And then I heard it come closer to the tent and I was really scared. Well, it turns out the, the person that was in the tent with Devante had like a treasure trove of like snacks under their pillow. Really? Really? You couldn't go one night without snacks? Tisk, tisk, tisk. It was scary. Um, but it was funny. It was, it was cool. Yeah, I didn't hear anything. It was so quiet in our tent. Like, I just passed out right away. But I could hear those kids screaming yeah. like, mm -hmm. all night. That's why they yeah, that's another... Uh, I forgot about that. Those kids next door. But I kind of felt lame because we're like 21 years old and we're like, oh, 10.30, time to go to sleep. Yeah. And they were up till like 2 o'clock in the morning just like screaming their heads off like... I don't even know. I feel so old right now. I know. <laughs> I was like, I don't bad. care. We have a big day tomorrow. I don't know what we're going to do, but I know I have to be up at 8.30, so. First thing I did in the morning was wonder where Dylan was. I set my alarm for 7 o'clock, and apparently that meant I set alarm for 5 o'clock. So after I set that alarm for 5 o'clock, I couldn't go back to sleep. He was sleeping where I was having. He had no idea where he was. Went outside of the camp. He wasn't there. Went to the bathrooms. He wasn't there. I ended up just wandering and walking aimlessly around the the park at five o'clock in the pitch dark so in my kind of sleep state i was checking the like valleys and drop-offs near our camp to make sure he didn't go to pee and then fall and kill himself which admittedly would have put a damper on the trip i'm walking by myself i've got my phone light with me and that's about it and the only thing you can see is basically in front of you in a little bit from the from the light from the camera and there's movement all on the sides because there's forest on both sides because it's a it's just a path there was probably a thousand things looking at me and i was just like oh well i got scared don't get don't get it wrong i was like no just keep going you got nothing to do then we had breakfast and i got my blueberry pop tarts that no one else was entitled to because i i'm sorry dream builders was entitled to 30 cents of and, offer, and I graciously offered Steven 30 cents of a pop tart, but he just gave me a dirty look. Come on, Devontae. I know. A little flex real quick. This guy is ready to do some trail work. Yours is the one right there. What's up, Steven? Salutations. Are you excited about what's about to go down right now? <laughs> okay, no more. <laughs> Absolutely not. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no more oh, we're going to be great. I'm so, I'm so excited, actually. I've never been in the woods before, except I'm from East Texas, so I've probably been in the woods before. <laughs> hey, Lauren. You'll have to get through your names again because it's... It's all great. <laughs> so we'll, we'll, we'll work on that throughout the day. Sound off. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know, there weren't many bugs because thank goodness somebody brought bug spray because I'm not about that itch in life and having like, you know, horse flies land on me and whatnot. I'm all for, you know, nature being out there and whatnot, but as long as it doesn't touch me, I'm going to be all good. Especially bugs. I'm not afraid of bugs, but I'm like, you know, reasonably weirded out by them, okay? So yeah, go ahead and bust that off and then just throw your trash up in the back of the cart. And then we got two sets of gloves for the guys. And so whoever's doing like the post hole, we'll trade out on the post hole digging. And then everybody will carry like one tool a piece. That way you can handle it and it's not too heavy for you. We're gonna do trail blocking and okay. digging holes. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be doing more of that kind of stuff. Now, 
not good. <laughs> Tree trimmer for girls? Uh, you remember that movie holes? Yeah. That was there a good movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Talking about Stanley Yelnitz. That's the first that's one of the first things I ever saw. Like was a palindrome. I noticed it before they said it was a palindrome. So kinda smart. In case you didn't know, those out go. there in TV. You land. get the big ones. <laughs> Just one. There you go. I just hit she my bruise. <laughs> <laughs> she probably is the one. Why, why is she like kissing? Okay. <laughs> She's like, oh, yeah. She's like friends with her. Say cool. hello to my little flame. <laughs> you want to go ahead and take them? Yeah, let's and go just ahead start and walk that way. Walk uh, against bike traffic. That way, uh, like you should like see said, him coming. If, yeah, if you see him coming, then you can get out of the way. So All right, ladies, let's go cut some stuff. <laughs> so we can eat back let's up cut here. some stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, Tracy's going to do her thing and walk the trail. Um, once you get your phone. If I, if I was stuck on a trail, if I was stuck in a forest with somebody, I'd prefer to have him with me as opposed to just some random person because he's going to tell me what's poisonous. He's going to tell me what to do. And I'm going to feel a lot safer for three. Okay. And then uh, I think we're going to go do the post first. Because they're just right there. I went with uh, the guys to go to the uh, the trail to put some uh, stakes inside the ground and put some new signs up. Y'all split up the labor on, uh, and let's carry uh, one shovel, one post hole digger. Um, go ahead and carry uh, a screw gun a piece. If you want to put a screw gun and a battery in your backpack, just leave the batteries and leave everything else sitting here. You don't need to bring any posts? Um, no, we do need to bring posts. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, no. Like. Let's, uh, if we can, I'm going to carry a post. Well, we spent time with a crazy guy who's an official volunteer. He lives here for 30 to 60 days out of the week because <laughs> I thought he was getting paid to be here. It's just like he was higher up staff, but turns out he just works here so he can come here for free doesn't have to pay to work to sleep here and this is what he wanted to do so hats off to him and uh, that was really fun uh, had a chance to talk with Jason uh, he's a pretty cool guy bet we probably had a better time than the girls did hey just, you're gonna lift it up on the far end yeah. here, look at the strength right now oh it is gonna take both Oh, well, looks like we're gonna have Hold to. Hold on, move it that way. Okay. Or, or see if we can roll it. Huh. Oh. Nope. Here, put that board under. Put that board under, and when we drop it, it'll pop it. It'll pop it. Whoa. I guess that's my cue to drop it. Yep, now we can go. You good? Yep. So far, I've almost got cut twice. <laughs> uh, it's gotta be a new record. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and put your pack down. Um, if you've got the screw gun in your pack, yes, it's in there. Yeah, we'll go ahead and yank it out and uh, get to work. Well, yeah, let's go ahead and take the signs off the, the fiberglass signs. I've got the bits in my my backpack. Where's the reverse? I mean, the cones. I will be sweet sauce. Stephen, don't hold the uh... the post for me. Yes. Well, I need a first unclamped this. For the first part of the day when we were digging the first post holes I just kind of stood around. I actually didn't Stephen and Dylan kind of leaped on digging the post so I just stood around holding stuff and then held the uh, name plates on when we screwed them in. That's much easier. How far does it need to be down? Let's see where we're at. All right, so let's go ahead and screw our sign on there, and then we'll get it facing the way we want to. All right, that to makes it easy. I thought this was a B loop. 
Oh yeah, you're putting the wrong sign on you. Good call. Oof, there so you go. Yeah. Glad I mean, that you were paying attention. I mean, I, mean, oh, I, mean, I was paying attention. I just I'm not just a camera just guy. Was handed a sign, and that's the one I went with. <laughs> Aren't there like rules against you, like getting in front of your medium or something like that? Or what? Mm. It depends on what style. Of, it depends know? on what style no, you're doing. Yeah, it's, kind of, it's a. So yeah, get it all over here. I work on houses with my dad, and right. I've destroyed my hands before. It's one thing Always as you get good. older, you'll learn uh, knee pads and two. things for your hands. Or necessity. Oh, yeah. The two body parts you want to take care of your whole life, your knees and your back. I'm going to scoot this, like some of the stuff out of the way for you. Uh, <laughs> that tool is actually probably from the 50s, though. Because of the you can, because of the way it's made, they don't it doesn't have the wood handles on it. Oh yeah. Um, the handles have actually probably been broken before. See how they're welded back on yeah. with the round. It's gonna go ninety. Yeah, then go ninety degrees. Yeah, there you go. You don't need much more, is what I'm saying. So yeah. Phillips, uh, Phillips is in the bag. And we basically just cleared trails and then dug a bunch of holes and fixed signs. So. I, I'm actually Absolutely. liking the overall look right now. <laughs> right, we're Dude, exactly. like trail deer cam out here and watch people run into it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're taking the C off. No, 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 you're no, taking the bottom one. The bottom one. Oh, the, the bottom one. The C one is that one. Yep. You gotta go the other way. way. There you go. All right, well, we found a screw that we can't get out. It's a joy. As other people have stated, he's a really nice guy. Like, he's out here just volunteering. Like, he's not getting paid. And, I mean, he's just a, he's just a typical college kid, but 20 years older, basically. <laughs> See, I graduated in 91. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, sweet sauce didn't come around until probably 01. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of the few people that say, uh, yeah, says weird like, stuff. Yeah. yeah. No, we, we, all my buddies do. We're always running around. You know, or poke them in the hole. Oh, y'all, play any of the games, I man? know exactly what you're talking about. We'd walk around and be your like, chest open. Like, hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. And then if you, if you do it and you plug it, yeah. then you get them back. And if you catch the plug, then you get them back twice anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then there's this weird rule where, like, yeah. you know, the guy has to, like, bend over. And you can just, like, plug him as much time as you want. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that, that, see, and that, we always have that guy in the group, too. It takes it just that little further. And we're like, all right. That went from, uh... From all right, bro, joke. now you got to kiss me. What? <laughs> <laughs> naked and afraid. Oh. Oh. I was talking about <laughs> But naked in the woods with vines and poison stuff and... I think I'm hitting a root. That first meeting was hilarious. They're just trying not to look down. Exactly. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and then yeah, after a while, yes, the, the way to do it is to just get it over with. Just go up, yeah. just be like, Wah. just swing it in a circle and be like, baby, this is this is hanging out. You're going to be with me for a week. And let me tell you what this thing does in the morning, and I got no control over it. So, I'm like this. <laughs> he's, he's just dumb. This is why uh, after my friends got old and married and uh, decided to have kids and got really boring, I had to go find some younger friends again. <laughs> <laughs> I, really I was like, because they all do the same thing. They all come up to me and they're like, you just don't understand. You don't have kids. And I'm like, no, I just don't have that stick in my ass yet. He was a good guy. On? Enjoyed him. What's happening? See that? That's all rotted out. Let's go ahead and put at least three screws in each side, and uh, you want to stay right in that line. See where the nails are? Yes. There All right, we go. let's do it. Okay, so we just got done doing some trail work. And put his knife to the right, excellent. Just got done doing some trail work. 
and uh, basically putting up some poles along with doing some bridge work. There's a whole bunch of poison ivy to the right. It's pretty crazy. But yeah, it's been pretty fun. Just hanging out with some friends. Also get some hiking in. So yeah. After that, when we went to repair the bridge, and uh, when we went to the second set of posts, then I got to do a little bit more on those, use the screwdriver a lot, which was fun. I actually love using power tools. Oh man, I forgot to tell you. Okay, so we were out there in the woods, right? There's people coming in here because they're doing uh, origination, uh, ordination, orienteering. First time I've ever heard this word ever. Sounds like volunteer and originate all put together in one word. Well, anyway, basically we got kids running through the woods everywhere. And you kind of want to help them, but like, you know, they're on a mission or whatnot. And then, you know, you got the kids that are just kind of just like, oh, I'm in the woods for a day. Yay, play 60, blah, 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 blah. So you got these other kids that like play way too much Call of Duty Black Ops. These kids have like war paint and all kinds of stuff, like running through like the woods and whatnot. Just kind of, <laughs> and I'm just kind of just like, what is happening right now? On the bridge, we were... Uh, fixing there were loose boards and if you stepped on the side they just you know leap all over the place and it was very dangerous and I would just kept telling people to go down the center this one like this happened on, actually on two separate occasions where like kids would like we were telling them hey you can use the bridge just run down the middle and they wouldn't listen they would see us on the bridge working on it they're like dude I'm not gonna stop for anybody so we had mighty Joe way too gung-ho coming down through here and then, like he sees us working on the bridge we said everybody just go through the middle um just be like a normal human being um he decides to call, act like the winter soldier or something over here he leapt off the bank he jumped on the side that we told him not to jump on. Jumped and put two steps, two very hard steps on the side of the bridge. Jumps down to the creek, jumps over a, an embankment and then into the woods. And then just let past us again. And you know, that's the last time we saw him. Well, I mean, I'm assuming that, but I mean, cause it just happened like five minutes ago. Right, guys, <laughs> down the center. That edge, just a little bit over there. Okay. Luckily for him, he didn't land in the water, but I kind of wish he would have, cause it would have been funny for us. Then this other kid, he didn't even like listen to us. So after about six times telling the group, hey, just go across the center, go slow. Hey, go across the center, go slow. One guy just didn't say a word to us. Where he like literally jumps. And just avoided the bridge entirely and jumped across the river for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> I will hand it to this kid, he lands it. And then, you know, he takes off into the forest again. What is with these kids? <laughs> <laughs> That's two of them now. They're just like, ah! <laughs> Wait, are you saying you said I should like, swim down this creek? Yeah. Doggy paddle. Well, I mean, you know, this is the closest they get to Call of Duty Black. Yeah, <laughs> just. And honestly, I don't think any of us, we couldn't even say anything. We were just dumbfounded. So it's kind of weird. Really weird. So after we finished working on the bridge, there was a mound that we were trying to fix because somebody cut the, the root and it caused this huge cavity inside the route. Because this was accomplishment for Tracy to go over because she rams it with her full suspension and somebody cut the root out. And this is a no-no on the trail. Well, we can't put the root back, but we got to stop the, the, the flow. flow yeah. and so we were trying to put some rocks in there. And uh, as we were doing that, I was trying to get some close-up shots with my camera. Yeah, this dirt had no chance of staying for very long without doing something. There you go. And see, that'll give them a roll up for their tire. Yeah. It doesn't look smooth, but on a big round wheel, no problem. And uh, as soon as I was doing that, everybody looks in the direction and says, oh wow, and I don't really pay attention because you know, I'm, I'm working. And then it, now it no longer has anything oh, stopping wow. it. I turned around late and I just see the butt of a deer. And I was like, wow, there was a huge deer, like literally 10 feet away from us. And I didn't get it on camera. It just like flew in from right over there. And, uh, it 
literally actually came down from the trees, <laughs> and then it like it actually it actually leapt so hard that it left that gorge right there. <laughs> Bro, it's like all of that. It's just like it just hopped. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you gotta see this deer. The deer had like horns that were like this. Okay. Except they were like huge and they like branched off, so they didn't really look like my fingers, but they were like kind of similar, you know? <laughs> God. Tearing up the story. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was my fault. I I missed it. My bad. <laughs> Terrible cameraman. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah, I know. When someone said, ooh, wow. <laughs> Dude, I feel like like you could have said more. Look at that gnarly it's like thing. whenever it's like a car crash, you're like, no. So that was the biggest fall of the day. Was me not getting that big giant deer on camera. I'm sorry. And it's been a great day. It was a really beautiful day for doing all this stuff today. It didn't get too hot. My hat worked out really well. I didn't know if it was gonna work. Our guide actually, or our volunteer guy actually seemed like he was a little bit, kind of seemed like he was trying to impress us. I enjoyed his company. He was, he was a nice guy. It definitely wasn't a boring day. Definitely wasn't a boring conversation. We did see a bunch of, you know, deer and whatnot, and you know, we got to be in nature, you know, and all that good stuff. You know, all the, all the stuff that you come out here for. But after that, it was really cool. I did think that, you know, be on camera at some point. Well, probably, that was on camera, so. Probably is an understatement. Sweet. We'll follow you guys. <laughs> you come with us to cut briars? Yeah. yeah. I got an extra recipe. Hung out with the girls. Uh, Tracy was really nice. She was really cool. Um, we talked a lot, like just random stuff. We went to the trail and clipped a bunch of vines and stuff that would get in the way of people's hiking but that's pretty much what we're doing we're just we're trimming all of the uh, all of the briars everything that could grow into the trail that would actually injure you as you're going by that's what we're cutting on and anything that's like eye level some of the soft stuff like this we wouldn't cut because when it grows it's soft it's not gonna it's not gonna cause an injury we just walked through the trail and we um, like kind of did maintenance on it I guess so if there were like twigs in the way we just picked them up threw them out of the way so that like the bikers and the joggers wouldn't like you know trip over them. We were cutting uh, like stems and stuff so they wouldn't like poke people. Good job ladies these are all get huge and grow into the trail and want to snag people's legs as they go by. And then um, we, I don't, don't remember what they're called, but they were like these plants, they had like vine, like little, they were vines, but they had like little um, thorns sticking out of them. And so we just like chopped those down when we saw them because they would grow out and then um, like the bikers, you know, would like run into them and stuff. What's your technique here? What do you? Uh, if I see something with thorns on it, I cut it. That's my technique. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Listen for like crackling of uh, tree limbs and things because it is windy. There's a tree right down here actually fell on me one time when I was riding. So I was so scared that the, something else was going to fall on me. I slithered out from underneath all of it like a little snake. <laughs> I was just I just knew that the rest of the tree was going to fall on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, she had a lot of information about you know the wildlife here and then the plants. You know, a lot of times, I don't know if Jason told you, a lot of times you see stuff like that's where the pigs have been rooting around. Yeah, he said that they're uh, they're known to charge people. Yeah, you, see, <laughs> you think you know pigs, you know, in the woods, that's kind of an odd thing, but yeah, you kind of want to leave them alone because they will definitely charge you. Getting dirty is a part of being in the woods. Yeah, we gotta we gotta walk out with something either. Of yeah. Bee sting or uh, some dirt. Or... <laughs> <laughs> Scratch or something. Hopefully not poison ivy though. Yeah. Poison ivy is not your friend. <laughs> we walked through a lot of poison ivy, so we had to watch out for that. There was a lot of obsessing over poison ivy. That stuff's out of control. I don't recommend anybody getting anywhere near poison ivy. Uh, just, it, it's just it's bad, and it's not even on the. It's on the ground. It's on trees. It's just, it's everywhere. It's like. It's like in the air, everywhere. 
it doesn't affect everyone. When I was a child, I could play in it. It didn't affect me. But last year, I had it all over my arms and legs. It may also depend on how much of the oil you get on your skin, because it's the oil from the vine that causes the rash. Oh. But the rule of thumb for poison ivy is if it has three leaves, then don't touch it, just in case, so you don't get it at all. And we have to watch out for snakes. What is the thing, that she, the little saying that you do to remember to kill a snake? No idea. Like, it's like, she, she just said, pretend like all of them are poisonous. But she, there's something, it was like red, yellow, um, something, kill a man. Yeah, a coral yeah. snake, and it's like the black and yellow kill a fellow, so yeah. it's like the really poisonous ones. I mean, we didn't see a snake, but yeah, we saw two ladies that, um, they saw it, and they weren't sure, like, they didn't remember the rhyme, so they weren't sure if it was poisonous or not, but they still didn't touch it, because you don't want to, like, you know. Well, I mean, we were walking through the trails, we saw a bunch of wildlife, forestry, flower stuff. <laughs> and we saw some purple flowers, and... Uh, we saw like the beginnings of the honeysuckles. They weren't quite bloomed yet, but we could smell them. And then we found like some berries, like a plant for berries. And they were like, oh yeah, if you come back like in two more weeks or something like that, you're gonna have berries and you can come and pick them. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I wanna do that. I love berries. You could tell Tracy really likes, I mean, I know it's not her job. I know she volunteers, but she's like really passionate about it. And she kept telling us like everything she knows is from when she was, um, when she was younger, she did play outside all the time. Right. So none, yeah. like she doesn't have any like expert experience, I guess, but just from just being out here. Yeah, yeah. just from experience. We talked like just random stuff. I don't even remember most of the stuff we oh, talked yeah. about, but we just kept talking. We had good conversations. So we just did that, and we walked down. I don't remember the trails like. It, or something. We walked down that and um, mm -hmm. we just talked. And so yeah, that was fun because we got to talk to her and she told us about her life a little bit. <laughs> we learned more about her and then we, she'd ask us questions about like school and stuff like that. So, And she asked what her major was, were and I'm, I'm like okay. We told her and, and we told her about what we do at school. And, a little bit about ourselves. It was really, fun. It was really good. Like we just kept, we were working, but we kept talking around random stuff that no one cares about. So uh, it was really fun just to kind of hang out with them, see what they were talking about. Uh, basically, just hitting both sides. Uh, after that, the whole group went to the lake, and uh, and we had some fun there, just chilling. We had fun. We went to the lake. It was all good. You know, we laughed at the girls because all they did was glorified gardening while we were putting in a uh, post because we're real men. It was really relaxing, you know. I finished my book at the lake. Steven gave me a wonderful massage. After that, I just laid there in my chair and relaxed. Let the wind, like, hit my skin. And it was really cool. Um, it was relaxing. It was a nice way to kind of, like, wind down from earlier. And we just sat there and relaxed and laughed and talked and got massages by Steven. And there was little kids there jumping off the dock when it said not to jump because they don't know how to read signs. And then the water is really nasty and the we ha put our feet in the water and Dylan almost got his toes bit off because a fish really wanted his toes, I guess. I don't know. What's funny about like, you know, people's toes, you know, as weird as it sounds, like, you know, they look different between, you know, black people and white people. Well, Dylan, Dylan is kind of like a pale, really pale white guy. Really funny. Um, I was having my feet in the water, so is Steven and Dylan. And, um, and all of a sudden Dylan starts popping up. He's like, ah, ah, he starts getting scared about stuff. I was like, what are you doing, man? Chill out. He's like, this fish keeps biting me and nobody really pays him any attention. He just kept putting it back in, not paying attention, and I started watching, and I could like watch the little fish swim up and start like nibbling at his toes. <laughs> the fish would not stop attacking his toes. So apparently, they like white people toes because they look like worms. Just like they, I mean, they just look like worms. They're easy to see, and the water's like kind of greenish, but they could see like you know white little toes in there. But I think it like I don't know why his feet, because I put mine in. I think because I have nail polish on, but 
they didn't want anything to do with me. It was hilarious though. I was like super close to them, but they didn't come after my toes. Everybody else kind of like laughed at me and said it's because my tail, my toes look like lumber or whatever. But I mean, you know, he does take care of his feet a little bit better than I do. I would make that. <laughs> I was there, just chilled, chilled with the fishes attacking me. And so I was like, all right, Dylan, you have to put your feet back into the water so I can get it on camera. <laughs> like he put his foot in the water and then we'd like watch the fish come up. He was creeping up. He was like kind of iffy at it at first. He was like, eh, I don't know if I want to do it or not. And then the fish would come and he'd like freak out and like water would get everywhere. So he'd like fly, like fling his foot from the water. The fish, I saw him again and so I put my camera back into the water. The fish was swimming and he was actually going towards the camera. And I was like, whoa, chill out, he almost bit my arm And so, uh, it might have been a huge 10 foot catfish, I'm not sure. <laughs> so, that freaked me out. That happened about 10 times. Couldn't just leave my feet in the water, couldn't just leave me alone, had to attack. Yeah, I really, I had fun at the lake. I wish I brought my bathing suit so I could swim. But I liked watching Dylan's feet get nibbled on by the fish. <laughs> it was actually, it was actually kind of funny. It was actually kind of funny. But it's probably more of those you had to be there kind of things. Uh, well, everybody else kind of put their feet in the water, chilled out. I went and walked a little along the trails that were nearby the lake area. Uh, they weren't very long. I could tell they went further, but I didn't want to go too far exploring. But I sat down in a kind of little secluded area near the lake and just had a nice quiet moment. Got to clean the sleep out of my eyes because, you know, I don't want to look like a total bump. True. On camera. Get my good side. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, like I was saying, um, before I was really interrupted by Devante not putting the uh, microphone on, so my uh, expertly crafted, uh, you know, intro to, you know, me being awesome right now is uh, gone forever. Though, I mean, it's there, but I mean, there's no sound, so I guess it really doesn't matter. Anyway, anyway, anyway. we had a, you know, nice morning. Um, it's beautiful out here. Um, they say it's about to turn really ugly. You know, certain people have to be back, you know, by like a certain time. So we don't get to, you know, stay as long as we want. For this org, I personally consider it my baby. Like, I may have only been here. This is only my second year, but I still consider this my baby. So I just personally like that Dream Builders is branching out from just Habitat for Humanity. Because when we tell people about Dream Builders from now on, we'll be like, we went to Tyler State Park. We fixed stuff. We don't only do Habitat. We're not just a one trick pony. So I never been camping at all. So Sorry. I was like, okay, so we're gonna go to like camping. I wanna know what we're gonna do. And I really wanted to come in here and like clean up the trails because we never done that before. And it's something new for a group to do. So that made me wanna come too. Because I mean, I've been in this group for, I don't know, maybe a, like a semester and a half. I mean, and I knew them, but like now I feel like I know them a lot better because just like bonding, talking, and like, I mean, spending two days with someone, like you're gonna get to know them a lot better, so. Trip like this, oh yes, it's, it has been so much fun. And it honestly didn't, I mean, I knew it would be a little bit fun because I mean, I just love camping, but I honestly didn't expect it to be this much fun. I like this trip, I enjoyed it. Had a great time. Uh, Parks department was really nice uh, for letting us be out here. A lot of fun activities. I didn't really stress out too much. You know, this one I just kind of took things lax and just enjoyed people's company. I love camping. Uh, I think it's a lot of fun, and I know a lot of people don't like it because, like, if you have a bedroom, like air conditioning, like why would you come and sleep outside? Uh, camping is one of those things that you know you really have to be a group that you you know enjoy being around. I think it's a great way to bond with the people that you come with and also if you go camping um dig the designate whose job it is to do stuff because what often happens is that one person will be taking upon themselves to do a bunch of things while everybody else will be sitting down I don't know just there's something fun about like camping and like, eating making your own food and it just really kind of separates you from the outside world you know when we came out here we made sure that we didn't have our cameras or, or not cameras the cameras right there we didn't have our phones or anything like that yeah because you know most of the people there they're, they're they don't even get out of their house sometimes they're like in the computer ipod 
whatever. And re seriously, here, we haven't even touched your phone. Like, I looked at my phone just to see the time, and that's it. And now I don't have even looked at it. Just enjoying na nature and having fun. Technology, like we're not on our cell phones, we're not on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, so we have to talk to each other and we have to get to know each other. Good, t it's a good bonding experience. And uh, it was just, it was just really good to kind of get away from you know, the day-to-day -day grind. I honestly am pretty glad that we're going back because uh, just between me and you, um, the day was the first day I actually took like a real poop. Like it was kind of weird. Like. It was like all the food we were eating didn't do anything. I don't know if I was constipated or what, because I didn't have any pain or anything. We're hiking around in the woods. So, I mean, and I, you know, I don't want to be gross, but I mean, you know, it has to be said. I mean, just letting you know about the camping experience and whatnot. So let's kind of just be out here, you know, messing around with some catfish, get stung by some bees, you know, prick your hands, not get poison ivy. If, if I'm an officer next year, it might not be Tyler State Park, but with what we've done, I, I hope to go to another park similar or the exact same one. I'm completely fine with that. I would do it again. I know some of, some of the guys and the girls here would do it again. A whole weekend of just being with people you know, people you don't know, and just getting together and just relaxing like we're doing right now, it's worth it. I don't know, it's just been great hanging out with everybody, working on the trails was fun. I mean, it was just great to get out in nature, especially with your friends. All in all, it was actually pretty fun. One thing though, I'm really, 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 really excited to get back to civilization and uh, talk to my girl because I haven't seen her or talked to her in a few days. And I feel like, you know, you know, if I don't keep an eye on her, like, man, somebody's gonna try to snatch her up out from under me. Like, real talk, it's almost happened before, like, several times. No, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, anyway, um, baby, if you're watching this, I miss you. I love you. That was just for her. So, like, everybody else, like, you know, you're just awkward for about, like, really awkwardly sitting there for about two to three seconds, so. We're helping out, so I, I hope to do this next year and hope to make it like a little dream builders tradition that we can do for years to come, so. So I got to say, I gotta get back to cleaning before, you know, Dylan yells at me. <laughs> Bye, America. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely recommend we go out and just go to another park that you have. Just, just go on camping, it's just, it's really nice. It's a really good vibe, and uh, you'll appreciate the experience. Definitely. I know I have. <laughs>